Hey, this is Steven here at Nolan. And in front of me, I got a grinder pump and a sewage pump. A lot of people confuse the two. Let's take a look at the differences. So it's really not uncommon at all that somebody will ask for a grinder pump when they really just need a sewage pump. Um, I think an important thing to note is that a grinder pump is not necessarily an upgrade to a sewage pump. I mean, they do have similarities, um, but they work in a different way. They're, they're not really interchangeable. All right, so sewage pumps are most commonly used in situations, say, where you have a bathroom that's below the sewer line, all right, and you need to pump up to it. Or maybe you're pumping out to a, up and out to a septic tank. If you can't use gravity, you need to use a pump to move that. Um, what are we moving? Well, ideally only raw sewage. So we're talking toilet paper and human waste. Um, and these are best in like low to medium head applications. Um, you're not pumping too high or too far. All right, so one key feature on the sewage pump is the two inch discharge, all right? And then if we flip this guy around, looking underneath. So the impeller, it's got a big opening in the bottom, a lot of free space, all right, between the bottom of the pump and the impeller. Um, so that means what a sewage pump can do is handle a two inch solid, all right? So two inch discharge, two inch solid. All right, so looking at the grinder pump. Grinder pumps are bigger, heavier, and significantly more powerful than sewage pumps. One of the reasons why is on the bottom, they actually have a cutter wheel. You can think of it like a powerful garbage disposal. It's gonna take everything that's pulled into that pump and chop it up, grind it up into a slurry, which it then pumps out a smaller discharge. You can see this discharge is gonna be inch and a quarter on your regular grinder pump. All right, it doesn't have to pass solids since it chews things up it's able to have a smaller outlet. That's a key feature of a grinder. So there's really two applications where grinder pumps are meant for. One is a high head situation, all right, if you have to pump way up or way out. And two would be if you have an uncontrolled environment. Maybe there's things that are getting flushy you can't quite control. So grinder pumps are often used in situations where you need high head. Um, let's say you have to pump a thousand feet out or you need to pump up, say, 50 feet. Um, another case would be is if you're feeding into a pressurized sewer main, you need to overcome the pressure of the sewer. Grinder pumps can pump further and faster in higher head situations. So as far as uncontrolled environments, ideally we're only flushing toilet paper and human waste down the toilet. Um, but the reality is that often people flush these flushable wipes, right? So in that case, we're talking about Lysol wipes, we're talking about baby wipes, maybe makeup remover pads. Um, they do go down a toilet, but once they go down, they often cause a bunch of issues like, like clogging pumps, uh, blocking sewer lines. So well, you can imagine if you flush these things down and then you got a grinder pump, the grinder is going to take them and grind them into a pulp. All right. So they can, grinder pumps can handle these flushable wipes. With that being said, a grinder pump kind of sounds like a fix all, but here's the thing. You really don't want a grinder pump unless you have to have one. Reason number one, they're about four times more expensive than a sewage pump. And they can be a pain to own. So grinder pump blades will dull over time. Um, you'll see videos out there of people doing demos and feeding like, like a pair of jeans to a grinder pump. And it will handle that, but that is an expensive recipe. That's just not something that you want to do. Grinder pump blades will dull if you're feeding it things that it really sh shouldn't be handling. Um, grinder pumps are also prone to clogging with stringy materials, all right? Um, and because of that, they, they clog up more easily. They burn up more commonly because of that and ultimately don't last as long. So. Grinder pumps, they have their specific applications, but uh, we still wanna be careful about what gets flushed and what we're feeding them. Hey, so hopefully that helps give you an idea of some of the similarities, but probably more importantly, the differences um, between grinder and sewage pumps. If you like this, uh, please like and subscribe on YouTube, and thanks for watching.